Hey guys, this is Fareed here with Leap, and today I'm going to show you how to submit an application using your Leap app um, through Green Sky. So we're going to use your Green Sky integration to get that get that done. Um, by now, through your sales process, you should already be at the point where you're ready to submit an application. So you've gone through your presentation, you've gone through your measurements, you have put together a package or a quote, in this case is for roofing, at 9755 and, um, and you're going to proceed to select the payment plan, a payment option, and get this now approved. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into my financing options. I'm going to put the dollar amount that I'm financing. And I can see that all my, uh, my monthly payments will populate as soon as I select my low monthly payments. So I'm going to stick with the first one. I'm going to uh, run the ap application with plan 1166, which is the one on the very top. I'm going to go right into my credit application which is on the left side of the menu buttons here. And then I have my credit application from Green Sky. I'll go ahead and select that. As you notice, my contact information came right over. And here I'm going to select the plan that I'm going to use, which in this case is my plan 1166. The dollar amount, I think it was 9,800. Let's just use that number. And then you'll just do the rest. I'm going to have here's the date of birth, March 7th of 87. And I'm going to hit next. Now, the next page is going to um, ask me to put in my social or the customer social security number, the phone number, as well as the work number and all the other information. You can decide whether you want to do this by asking the customer for the info. Or you can just, uh, turn the device over and have the customer just plug it in. So I'm going to go in here and just plug in some numbers so we have some data. Job name, we're going to do leap. Years on the job, I'm going to say 10. And I'm going to put $100,000 of yearly income. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Once I do that, all the disclosure or legal, however you guys call it, will populate in this section here. This is no different than if you were using credit card, uh, Green Skies application uh, on their app, uh, like their mobile app, or the website. Now, once you scroll all the way down, notice the Accept button on the top right-hand corner will then activate. Once that happens, that means that I read everything, and I'm going to hit Next or Accept. It'll take me to this breakdown. have my loan and applicant. Triple check everything. Make sure that all the contact info is correct. Make sure the plan is correct, the request amount, and everything and then just toggle on these two disclaimers. Again, this is no different than what you're doing currently if you're using their application through the mobile app or website. This language should be pretty familiar to you. Now I'm going to hit Submit. And it's going to ask me to verify everything, make sure that I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to hit that again. From this point on, everything goes to the server. Green Sky already accepted the application. You're going to have an application ID as well as um, a portal where you can just track everything, make sure that you have the deal approved, or if it's rejected, it should give you notice of that, or if it's pending, it'll also give you notice of that. You just plug in the last four digits of the social security number, and you should be able to track that. This is no different. This will look extremely familiar to you guys if you have already been using their application or website. Hey guys, this is Fareed again here with Leap. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Green Sky integration on the back end of Leap. Uh, for those who are just um, signing up with us, uh, you might not have gone through this process yet. So I'm going to be able to show you how you can do it your, yourself, um, as well as um, giving you a little bit of uh, uh, some tips along the way, things to notice when you're setting this up. The first thing that you want to know is the office that you're in. As you know, if you have many offices built into Leap, each office can have a different setup. So make sure that you're in the right office and you're setting up uh, when you're when you're setting up this integration because it will only affect that particular office that you're that you're in. So make sure you do that. Um, the integration consists of three three things. The first thing is integrating the dealer number with our system to make sure that when we submit the applications are going through the proper channels. The second part of it will be the setup or the financing options. Um, that has to do with all the plans that you guys offer. It's pretty much what you're looking at now. 
And the third part will be downloading the credit application, which we have already built for you. You just have to download it from our, from our system. But there is a tricky part to that that I'm going to explain to you because if you're already trying to do this, you may not be seeing it in your setup. So let's take it from the, from the top. The first thing will be the integrations portion of that. So I'm gonna go into the integration tab and I'm gonna select Green Sky. Now, as you can see, it's super simple. Dealer ID number shows up and then I have a number that I will plug in there. You guys have these numbers. If you have multiple numbers, uh, that typically happens when you have different offices or different markets. Uh, because of rates, because of many, many things that you guys internally have reasons for. So make sure that when you set leap up, if you're going to have each office um, separated, make sure that the uh, dealer ID matches the office that you're in. So if I'm in the Farith office, the dealer and dealer number that I will put in here would apply to that specific location or that office. Okay. So once you put the number in there, all you need to do is hit save and that is done. So we get a checkpoint there. All right, so step one is finished. That is pretty simple. The second part is a little more time consuming, but um, it is pretty much geared to how you guys do business and what plans you guys offer. So if I go into finance options, I can see that all my options will then populate in this section. So I have all my green sky options here. I'm gonna start one from zero. That way you guys can see how it works. I'm gonna hit new, this blue button next to the save button. Hit blue, new and then I'm gonna activate it and I'm gonna create it. So the source is gonna be Green Sky. The bank name is also Green Sky. The category, this is where you start customizing these things. You can have it, you can give it any cate category, however you categorize your payment plans today. You probably have a rate card or a sheet where you may categorize it based on banks or you may categorize them based on the type of loan that it is. You select that, you pick and choose whatever you want. I'm just going to keep consistency here with my demo and I'm gonna put in here low monthly payments. The name of the loan, most companies take the description of the loan and the name and it's the, it's the same. In this case, is a reduced rate of 9.99%. You can give it whatever name you want. And same thing with description. This is totally custom. Each company can do whatever. Some companies have go-to, plan, only plan, or maybe if you guys um, have different plans for different amounts of money, you can have zero to 10,000 and you put that in here. That way the rep knows what those plans are. The plan code is the plan number. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna put in here 1166. If you watched the last video that I, that I made, that's the plan that I used on the app. So I'm gonna just use that. And then you have your minimum and maximums. Now here's where you guys will put your values. Minimum, that means what is the minimum amount that I can use this plan for? So some companies across the board have a minimum of 2,500. Some companies have it as one, zero, or whatever. Make sure you have that. What this will do is will filter this option. So when the rep is looking at the iPad, they will only see the options that qualify for the dollar amount that they're trying to get approved. So it's pretty pretty neat. That way your reps don't calculate or submit an application for an amount that is higher than what you should. That's why I have my max and minimums here. So this loan can only be financed between $2,500 and $50,000. Interest rate. You put the, uh, and, and here you're gonna put the percentage. So 17.99, 9.99, whatever it is that you guys have it. I'm just gonna put in here, I don't know, well, 21.99. Now here's what I need you guys to pay attention to. When it comes to the multiplier and the dealer fee, I'm just gonna put a term here, sorry about that. Just do 36. All right, when it comes to the multiplier and the setup in the dealer fee, uh, Green Sky on their sheet, they have it as a, uh, as a percentage, sorry. So for the dealer fee, they may have a bracket from uh, 2.5 to uh, 2.85. And the reason why they do that is because based on the credit score, or whoever you're approving this for, that those numbers might change. Uh, same thing with the payment uh, mul multiplier because it's all depending on what rate you're gonna uh, uh, finance it for at 17.99, 21.99. You typically don't know that until you get it approved or you run the credit. So keep in mind that this financing plans are going to come up with an estimated monthly payment, not an exact number. So what you wanna default these two figures to be, including the rate to the interest rate, is to the highest number. So if you have a window, take the highest. 
because then you can always estimate it to be a whatever number comes up to be. And if for whatever reason, when it gets approved, they give you a lower number, then you can go back to the customer and congratulate them because they got a lower monthly payment and a better rate. So it's better to do that than have to come back out and you know, sell on a payment again when you are offering 150 and you have to come back at a, uh, 175. So we're going to a payment mul multiplier and put your numbers in there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the decimal divided by 100 and you're gonna enter that number in here. Again, dealer fees and multipliers are typically percentages. That's how they show up on your sheet. Take that number, divide it by 100, and put that number on here. And that's it. And then you go into the offices, and you select the office that you want this plan to show up in. You can have multiple offices. It doesn't have to be a single office. I'm going to put the Farith office, since that's what I'm working out of. And that is how you would enter financing plan in the back end of leap you'll just work down the list and enter all the plans that you guys work with so now i'm going to hit save so that's done step two is done now the final step will be to download the application into my leap application here into the back end of my leap app I go into credit application. As you can see, Farith, that's the office that I'm working out of, and I have my Green Sky application. I'm gonna erase this one, and I'm gonna download that from the start so you guys can see how that's done. So as you guys know, Leap is a blank slate. It comes with, um, it doesn't come with inf information. You have to customize it, you have to build it out so that it, it, it fits your needs. Um, the same thing with the applications here. You're not gonna have one defaulted. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to go to the right office, obviously, stay in the office, and then you're going to hit the Add button right here next to the Save Order, right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner. And then you have three options from there. I'm going to pick from Partner. Green Sky is our, par is our partner, so it show up, it'll show up under that description. And then the applications come up, and you're going to go into the Green Sky application and just click on this button here. It's a Copy button. That's all you need to do there. You're gonna go back to credit applications on the uh, menu uh, option here on the left side. And notice that nothing shows up. So here's where there's a, li a, a little bit of, com of confusion. For those of you who have tried this before this video, you may be wondering, well, uh, I downloaded the application, but it never showed up on my, on my end. Well, what happens is Leap defaults anything that you download to um, to a, a, a non or, or non-selected office as well as a non-selected uh, state. So you typically have states and offices you have to assign documents to. So in this particular case, the application is not assigned to anything. So what I need to do is I need to assign it to my Farith office so that it shows up in my application, in my credit application section. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit this button here, scroll down and deactivate Farith. I'm going to deactivate the office to non-selected. What that means is that my application is there because it's not, it's not assigned to an office yet. I'm going to click the pencil button here, hit file, scroll down to the included offices. As you can see, it's zero. And then I'm gonna find the office that I wanna assign this to. In this case, it's Farith. And then I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna go back to my credit applications and my application shows up in the right office. So now if you go into the iPad and you go to credit applications, you refresh the iPad, your application will show up. And that is how simple this process is of integrating your Green Sky account to your Leap account.